Somebody could ask, what is it about the particular vision of St. Francis of Assisi that has lasted so long and is so attractive? When you go to Assisi, you meet people of all walks of life, of diverse faiths, or of no faith particularly, and yet they're drawn to Assisi. And I think it's not only because Assisi is a very charming, still very much medieval town, and it has wonderful artwork and churches, but I think the spirit of St. Francis draws people. And it's legitimate to ask why. And in fact, there's a story in the Franciscan mythology where one of the friars says, why after you, Francis? Why do people run after you? And I think it's a legitimate question. What is it about Francis of Assisi or about Claire of Assisi, these two great figures? I think what is attractive about Francis of Assisi is that he found a way to bridge the gap between our human perceptions and divinity. Uh, people build temples around the experience of the divine. Uh, people construct religions with sets of rules and hierarchy and all sorts of structures. And this is human. There's not necessarily anything wrong with that. But the effect of what we do to God can in a, actually push God away. And what Francis of Assisi did is found a way to allow God to draw Francis in. I, I want to think that it's God's doing. I don't think Francis made that happen, but I think Francis allowed God to draw him into a unique relationship. And Francis had the ability then to communicate that experience to other people both just by the way he lived. So we have the famous story of Francis and a young brother walking through an Italian town and the young brother expecting that Francis would give a great sermon in the piazza, but didn't. And they come to the edge of the town and they're walking down the road and the young brother says, well, Brother Francis, I thought we were gonna preach. And Francis in effect says, well, we did, just by our being there. I think he also used words. I think he was able to, to, to say things. He certainly wrote things like the Canticle of the Creatures, which is an amazing uh, bit of spirituality and poetry that brings God in, in, into a different way of understanding. And I think somehow out of all of that, and whatever dimension a person experiences Francis of Assisi, that, that there's something attractive in that and something very necessary for a person who wants to proceed further in the spiritual life. And that Francis of Assisi got that. And for 800 years or more, people have been uh, attracted to that. Um, and as I say, I'm a Franciscan friar. Um, I would defer to my sisters in the Franciscan family to talk about Claire but what is especially interesting for me about Claire of Assisi is that she came from the nobility. She lived within a, a fairly rigid medieval structure for women, and yet within her family, she, her sisters, her mother, found an, an alternative way of living that was gospel-based, that provided a brand new model for women of the Middle Ages who were inclined to being uh, socially minded, charitable, loving, but also in her own development of her understanding of God uh, and of Christ, Claire herself again received that gift of making God uh, very close and acceptable and understandable to people. Claire talks about gaze upon Christ, contemplate Christ. She saw the crucified image of Christ, perhaps the San Damiano cross, the famous one that we know about that was in the place where she and her sisters lived, that that became for her kind of a mirror that reflected back to her what God had done in Christ for us. And so Claire herself contributes uh, 
a major part of the Franciscan vision. And again, for 800 plus years, she has been that, um, uh, that kind of inspiration for, for people.